Creating a realistic drawing is something a few talented people can pull off. Now imagine doing one that focuses on someone's entertaining features that, while people may laugh at, but that person still wants to share with everyone. Next up, we take a look at what kind of character it takes to be a caricature artist. I'm Aaron Lakin. I'm an artist. I've been doing uh, cartooning for probably about 32 years now. I started as a fine artist, went to school for fine art and illustration at the School of Visual Arts in NYU, and I took some animation courses, and in the course of doing my schooling, I became more and more interested in animation as an art form. My father, Paul Lakin, was one of the original writers of Mad Magazine, and so I got an early introduction into the, the world of cartooning. The first thing I do is I play with some sketches, and over here I'm working with um, a sketch of Obama. He's a great character to draw because he has so many features that are real outstanding, and he's got great character and personality that's in his face. I guess you have to sort of hone in on one feature that stands out, even with a character like Obama that has several. I chose the eyes and the mouth as a unit, sort of. The eyes and the mouth create that smile and that personality. If you go like this and cover the, um, the rest of the drawing and you just get his eyes, you should be able to see that it's Obama. Well, the next step is to go to the color stage, and I usually start with a base color. This is just like a medium flesh, sort of like when you're doing makeup. You lay that base, that foundation, and you build on it. You build your blush and your mascara and your eyeliner, and that's basically what, what I'm doing here. I'm very careful to leave the highlights, what won't be colored in. Always in the nose. There's a highlight at the tip of the nose and on the bridge. So that's always left open. The cheeks is a highlight. There's what's called reflective light to give more dimension under the nose. This is meant to start building a structure of the face. I would just keep going back and forth until I feel that the layers are giving that volume that I, I'm looking for. That everything that should pop out is popping out without losing him. Cartooning has different types of meanings, but it's really its own word and its own genre and style, which is really just a fun, loose, kind of uh, exaggerated type of art form. It's the Morning Show with Mike and Juliet. Thank you all very much. Thank you guys for being here. Hey. Look, at, look who's in the front row. Who's in the front row? Oh, Audrey, Chuck. Hi, one of my best friends. Oh, hi, Audrey. Uh, hi, Audrey. Good to and see you. friend Jane, visiting from the North. How are you doing? Hey, Chuck, do you mind getting a shot of this guy over here? He's an artist and he's doing caricatures of Juliet. And I, oh, don't show too much. Don't show too much. And apparently, this is a big thing you can do at weddings now. You have an artist come in and you sketch the bride and groom. So we're going to see what we look like as a wedding yeah, couple later. Because it's like it's called the wow factor, and there are yeah. so many different things you can do. They really don't cost that much. Money. Top of the show, our character artist Aaron started working on a picture of us. He's still working away over there. Juliet, are you happy with what he's doing? I'm very happy. I think you need to use that orange pen and just tan him up a little bit more. Spray <laughs> tans on Fridays. <laughs> Big fake orange. <laughs> oh, I normally have a giant head that looks like a refrigerator. That's well, what you I'm got guessing. a giant head there, so I knew it. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm going to get to you, okay? <laughs> a couple's wedding reception is a party to remember, and more and more couples are planning not only only wedding vows, but wedding wows. Here, tell us about this. Uh, what's hot in weddings and receptions is celebrity event coordinator Joanne Gregoli. Hi, Joanne. How you nice doing? to have you here. Thanks for coming. I tell you, we got to save some money when we have these weddings too. Thank and you. a good way to make a wedding or a reception look great is lighting, and it may not cost you too much. No, it's true. My whole job is to take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. Yeah. And the wow factor is the key to that. And the wow factor can be in the form of lighting, draping, food, and entertainment. So I'm guessing you elements. have examples of this. I have a few. I have Do a few. you? This is a, an amazing tent, uh, amazing beach wedding where we underlit the table, and the lighting was the key to that, so that it glowed oh. in the darkness on the. 
Beach in Anguilla. I love that. Where was that? Anguilla. Oh, This beautiful. is a man, this is a house, and all we did was add some beautiful pink uplighting to create this amazing, magical moment when the guests left the area, they came and they saw this. Now, I noticed that you do draping. a lot of draping, too. Draping is a way to transform a room instantaneously from simple to amazing. Mm -hmm. It can be in color palettes. It could be oh, plain white, amazing wow. draping. Draping is another wow factor. Is that going to cost money? A oh, little. A little bit? A little. You know, a lot of money? Not too much. If I just have some crepe paper, is that going to work? That'll work. Streamers <laughs> from the drugstore? Anything store? like that would work. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, let's talk more about receptions then, Juliet. Now, the reception wow factor takes on other forms as well, and here to tell us a little more about it is the Not.com editor, Anya Winnicott. Hello, my love. Hello. Welcome back. Can we do to wow our guests? Okay, another wow idea is to make the food your wow factor. So one idea is to display it in a really cool way, like an ice sculpture. You know, you take a big castle, there's a picture of a castle, you put sushi in every little window. Now surprisingly, when you go and try to, you know, get these ice sculptures, they're, they have a range, and they're not really out, out, outrageously expensive depending on the size of them. That's right, it just depends on how crazy you want to make it. Yeah. And you can have alcohol go down. Yeah, alcohol, loose. you can make it a vodka, yes, anything you want to do. <laughs> Okay, another idea. Woo <laughs> another idea is that you could you could hire an ice cream truck to that show up so at the cool. end of the reception, surprise everybody with ice cream. Really cute idea if you guys went on your first date out for ice cream. Such a cute thing. I mean, is that thousands and thousands no, of dollars? No, no, it's not that expensive. Honestly, just do a little Google search. Okay, cool. Yeah. What else? Okay. Or you could take it up an entire notch and make it the theme of your wedding, say a carnival theme. Ooh, so we have a cotton yeah. candy machine here. Oh, I'd love that. That'd be great. Oh okay. my God, what is this? Okay, so this cotton candy machine, yeah, very tall man. Awesome. Walker. So this cotton candy machine from pushcartparties.com. You have it in the theme of your wedding, but you got a pink wedding. And then hire a stilt walker. This is David from igentertainment.com. You stilt walker. You could go. You could go like all that. out. You could do hot dogs. You could do peanuts. You do clowns, jugglers, whatever you want to do. So would you suggest you for a wedding? Let's say you're really on a budget, like most yep. people are. Would you just maybe ha have one big wow factor? Yeah. You wouldn't just like throw a whole budget. You don't need to, to make it an entire circus, but yeah, a couple like really fun elements yeah. like this are yeah, really going to make your your guests are going to remember that night for sure. Okay. What else do we have going okay. on over here, my love? Another wow idea is to just hire a little form of entertainment. This is a caricature artist, Aaron Lakin from Caricature. To tourists for hire.com and he could do you know pictures of all of your guests they could take it home as favors and he's been working on a little something all episode I've been <laughs> looking at this okay do you want to take a look at this everybody all right. yes would you mind holding this no nope. <laughs> thank you my dear so Michael I'm going to reveal this he's been working on this all day and here is really nice right <laughs> can you see this is it right I like it once again he's near, not nearly orange enough I need but I like it. I can work on it. But, but is my head that big, fat, and square? <laughs> is it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Like I it. like the fact that my body is this big, though. Yeah, you got a like tiny. That. Well, you do have a big head, Juliet. Ah! <laughs> I do. People call me biscuit head. It's big, true. Big, beautiful head. You know what? This has been fantastic. Finally, uh, that, 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 that photo booth we were talking yeah. about. NYCphotobooth.com. Really cute idea. Your guests I crowd in there. Take pictures. Take them home as favors. Really cute idea. Do you have somebody monitoring it, though? Again, I'm really concerned about some of the guests that yeah, I've had. Yeah, yeah. You'll have, you'll have a guy on site there making sure no, oh, no inappropriateness going oh, on. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go take a look at this. You can Mike. jump in there. Sure. By the way, the, uh, the Not.com is partnered up with a Married on MySpace. Go simply go to imagejshow.com and vote for Ellen Tito's reception wow factor. So yeah, you're actually going to pick their wow factor. Yeah. That's and then you so follow cool. the whole thing all the way up to the wedding. I think it's in August sometime on Married on MySpace. So go to myspace.com.